Hi guys, good day. This is Teacher MJ and our topic for today, it's all about the kite but this time, we are told to find the angles and sides. Our last video for the kite, we are told to find the area of a kite. So, without further ado, let's do this topic. So, we already know the properties of kite with the last video that we had. So, our pro the properties of kite, the two pairs of adjacent sides are congruent. So, this pair right here and this pair are congruent. So, DW and WO, that will be the same measure, and DE, DR, and OR, that would be the same measure. That's the properties of a kite. So, we have here given kite word. So, we have word, kite word. DW is equals to 5. Okay, this one, DW is equals to 5. Line DW is equals to 5. Line WE, this one, WE is equals to 4. ER, line ER, okay, line ER is equals to 9, this one. Angle R, the measure of angle R is equals to 62, this one. Angle R, this one, this one, this is 62. Okay, this one, angle R is 62 degrees. And angle W, the measure of angle W, this one, is 70 degrees. And we are told to find the measure of all sides and angles. So, all sides and angles. Okay, let's do that. Alright, so let's start with, if this is DW, DW is 5, so therefore, OW, it should be 5. So, this one is still 5. So, OW is 5. Let me write that. Okay, WO or OW is 5. So, First answer, WO is, so line WO is equals to 5. WO is equals to 5. So, um, OW, what else class? What, what else can we find here? Uh, if this is WO is 5, DW is 5. So, they have the same measure because adjacent sides are um opposite are congruent so they have the equal sides and same measure so how about this angle so this one if if angle r is 62 angle r is 62 so therefore we can say that angle e r d okay or d r e that would be, it depends on your class you can you can write it d r e angle d r e in which R, this one is should be the center part. So, D, R, E, this one. D, R, E. So, we can write that angle D, R, E is equals to D, R, E, this one. Okay, D, R, E. So, if this is 62, therefore, we just divide it by 2. 62 divided by 2, 3, 6, 31. So, D, R, E is equals to... 31 degrees okay. Now if this is 31 degrees this one this is 31 degrees okay, DRE is equals to 31 therefore this one ORE ORE it should be 31 degrees so that we can if we add 31 and 31 this one becomes 30, 62 degrees so this is 62 degrees 70 degrees. so angle DRE 61, so ORE is, ORE is 31 degrees. Alright, so what is class? Oh, let's, how about WE? So, uh, no, how about angle, angle W? So, angle W, if this is 70 degrees, so this is 70 degrees, this one, angle W. So, therefore, angle DWE so D W E, okay, angle D W E. So since this is angle D W E, this is seventy. Angle W seventy. We just divide it by two, okay? Divide it by two because this is this angle here is equal to this angle. So seventy divided by two, so that will be thirty-five. So this W D W E is thirty-five degrees. So this is 35 degrees, so this should be also 35 degrees because 35 plus 35 is 70. So angle DWE, so angle D uh, OWE, 
O W E it should be 35 degrees so this is 35 degrees this is 35 degrees so 35 degrees and uh, 35 degrees that would be angle W is 70 now since this is 90 degrees angle so do not forget this is this two diagonals are perpendicular so therefore perpendicular to each other therefore they form 90 degrees angle so this one angle here D angle D E R D E R angle E here it should be 90 degrees okay this is 90 degrees so if this is 90 90 degrees this is 90 degrees this is 90 degrees this is 90 degrees so this is a triangle 31 90 uh, how much is the measure for this uh, angle R D E this one so how much would be how much would be the 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 measure so do not forget class in a triangle the the measure of the interior angle of a triangle it should be 180 so this is 9 okay the measure of an angle okay the sum of the measure of the interior angle so that would be equals to 180 degrees so since we have two angles here 90 and 31 we just add this 90 and 31 then we subtract this to 180 once again class do not forget that in a triangle the sum of interior angles it should be any form of any form of triangle if it's right scalene uh, um, obtuse triangle whatever triangle it is uh, the sum of in the measure of interior angle it should be 180 so this is so this is 90 plus 31 so 90 plus 31 so 90 plus 31 this is 1 uh, 12 121 we subtract that to 180 121 minus 180 uh, no, 180 minus 121 so uh, carry 1 so this will be 7 this will be 10 9 59 so this is 59 so this will be 59 degrees so therefore this is 59 degrees therefore this should be 59 degrees all right so therefore angle angle r d e angle r d e angle r d e is equivalent to 59 degrees so once again class you can read this angle r d e or e angle e d r that would be the same class e d r or r d e now, if you read this one on the, on the left side, EDR, in the right side, you can also read this as EOR. So, it should be symmetrical class. It should be the same. EDR, so you write that, you read it on the left side, EDR. So, on the right side, it should be EOR. Now, since we read it as RDE, so on the right side, we read it as ROE. So, angle R. OE okay. ROE should be 59 degrees all right so we find this angle here so this is once again this is a triangle 90 and 35 this angle here so we are locking with this angle so so we add this one 90 and 35 and we subtract that to 180 so 1935 so 90 plus 35 all right, so 90 plus 35, this is 5, uh, 12, 125. So 125, we subtract that to 180. Subtract to 180. So this is um, carry 1, uh, subtract 8 and 1. This is 7, borrow. This is 10, so 5, 7 minus 2 is 5, 55. So this is 55 degrees. 55 degrees. So this is angle, okay? WDE, okay, WDE is 55 degrees. So WOE, angle WOE is equals to 55 degrees. So we're done with the angles class. So we have here, so you can pause the video finding the angles. 
all right so these are these are now the angles so we can also add this one to find angle d let's check if they have the same of course they have the same measure 55 59 55 59 so you add that so angle d 55 plus 59 so 14 carry 1 5 plus 9 is 14 carry 1 5 plus 5 is 10 plus 1 11 114 so therefore angle d is equals to 114 degrees the measure of angle D is 114, therefore, angle O, the measure of angle O, it should be 114 degrees. So, angle W is 70, angle R is 62, angle D is 114, and angle O is 114. If we add those one, so do not forget class in quadrilateral, any quadrilateral, the, the sum of interior angles, it should be 360. Example, a square. So, example, a square. If we add the measure of interior angles, this is 90, 90, 90, 90, it should be 360 degrees. Okay? So, any quadrilateral, it should be 360 degrees, the measure of interior angles. So, let's check, since this is a kite, it is a quadrilateral. So, let's check um, 114, 114, okay, angle E is 100, okay, angle E is 114. Ano, angle O is 114. So, let's check if we get 360. So, 114 uh, to 114 degrees. This one, angle D and angle O. Then, angle R is 62 plus 62 plus 70. So, once again, class, do not forget that one. Do not always remember that. that any quadrilateral, the measure of tier angles is 360. So, 4 plus 4, uh, 114, 4 plus 4 is uh, 8 plus 2, that is 10, carry 1. So, 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 2 is 10, carry 1, 0, carry 1. Um, 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3, plus 6 is... 9 plus 7 is 16. 9 plus 7 is 16. 6 carry 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. That's why we got 360. So, therefore, our answer for the angles are correct. So, 360. Alright, so now we focus with the with the side. So, this is the angles. So, focus for this one class. Uh, pause the video because I would erase this one. We are told to find the, the angles. So, we are told to find the angles. So, Pause. You can pause the video on how to answer the angles. So these are the angles for this uh, quadrilateral kite word. So now we are find this, finding the, the side. So I will erase this one class. You can pause the video or you can recall what we had discussed a while ago. So now we are told to find the sides. We are told to find the sides. Okay, let's, let's find the sides. Alright, so we find the sides. So let me erase. I will just erase this one class, the angles, for you not to be confused. So let me erase these angles. Okay. This time we find the sides. Okay. So this time we find the sides. Alright, so we're already done with the angles. Now we find the sides. Right, so we find the sides okay so we already have 5 WD okay WD is a uh, given WD is 5 or DW is 5 so therefore OW OW is is 5 next is we find this one DE okay we find DE and EO so that what if what is the measure of DE that would be equal to EO okay now to find DE, to find DE, do not forget plus this one. We write this triangle D. Okay, DE, DE, W, in which DW is 5, WE is 4. To find DE, do not forget plus Pythagorean theorem because we can use Pythagorean theorem if there's a right triangle. Always remember that. When can we use Pythagorean theorem? If the triangle, there's one measure of angle in a triangle is a right. Uh, if there's a 90 degrees 
in a triangle. Okay, one angle measures 90 degrees. Therefore, you can use Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so we can find this one. Okay, the the formula of Pythagorean theorem that would be c squared. Okay, let me just write this here. C squared. C squared is equals to a squared plus b squared. All right. So our c, the longest side, the hypotenuse is five. So five squared equals. We are told to find a. This one is a. Or you can also write four as a or four as b. It depends on your class. As long as the hypotenuse, it should not a and b. It could be interchanged. But for for uh, for the hypotenuse for the c. It should not be interchanged. Always remember that the longest side is the C. Okay? So, what if we find A, this one? This is A. This is B. B is equals to 4. So, A, find A squared plus... Find A, then copy squared. B is 4. 4 squared. Alright, so... This is 5 squared. This is 25 equals A squared. 4 times 4, 5 times 4 is 25, 4 times 4 is 16. So to get the value of A, transpose 16 from right to left. So transpose 16, this will be 25. Change the sign. Once again, class, do not forget that uh, once you transpose a number from right to left from the equation, from the equal sign, you will always change the sign. So since 16 is positive, it becomes negative. Minus 16 equals A squared. So... So, 25 minus 16, that is 9. 25 minus 16, that is 9, equals A squared. And to get the value of A, extract square root both sides. Square root both sides. Cancel square. So, square root of 9, that is A, is equals to 3. So, A is equals to 3. So, therefore, this side here, DE, okay, DE is equals to 3. So, D is equals to 3, therefore, OE, DE, is equals to 3. OE is equals to 3. Alright, so let me write this here. DE is equals to 3. And OE is equals to 3. Alright, so we are now have the, the sides. DE and OE. So last side, we have angle E. Oh no, side ER is 9. So we're locking with DR. So last that's one, dr. And what would be the measure of dr? It's equivalent to uh, or. Okay. So, we find dr. To find dr, okay, let's write this triangle. So, let me write it here. dr. So, dr. To find dr, so we have your d, e, r, in which d, e is 3. ER is 9. So once again, if this is, question, uh, your student will ask you, Sir, is this a right triangle? Yes, this is a right triangle because there is one angle measure 90 degrees. Measures 90 degrees. This one. This angle E. So therefore, we can use Pythagorean theorem in finding this side. Question. What would be this one? This this DR. Is this the hypotenuse? Is this the C? Yes, this is the hypotenuse. DR. This is the longest side. So C squared c squared equals a squared plus b squared so we are told to find dr so dr is the the longest side so this is dr squared equals since this is c or you can we can just write it c okay let's write it c because this is the longest side so c squared equals a here is 3 so 3 squared uh, B is 9 plus 9 squared. So C squared equals 3 squared. 3 times 3 is 9. Plus 9 times 9 is 81. Alright, C squared equals 9 plus 81. That would be 90. Extract the square root, both sides, so that we can cancel this out. So C equals square root of 90. Now before you check, if we can still sim if we, if this is the final answer check first if we can still simplify you you think of two numbers one number is a perfect square the other is not that when you multiply the two numbers you will get 90 so what are the perfect squares what are the numbers that uh, that are perfect squares so we have 1 4 
9, 16, so on and so forth. Uh, when I check this one, 90, we can uh, multi we can divide it by 9, okay? Because 9 times 9, 9 times 10, 9 times 10 is 90, in which one number is a perfect square, the other is not. So therefore, we can still simplify this one. So we can write this as equals to the square root of 9 times 10. Because the square root of 9, we can square this one, that is 3. One number is a perfect square, the other is not. So, simplify square root of 90. You find two numbers that when you multiply the two numbers, you will get 90 in which one number is a perfect square, the other is not. So, square root of 9 is 3, copy square root of 10. Square root of 9, you put it outside, that is 3, copy square root of 10. So, 3 is square root of 10. So, therefore, dr is equals to 3 square root of 10. Now, if dr is 3 square root of 10, therefore, or, or is equals to 3 square root of 10. This will be the same. 3 square root of 10. So, I think we're done with the sides. Alright, yes, we're done with the sides. And we also done, done with the, the angles a while ago. So, that's it, class. That's how you find the angles and the sides of a kite. So, if you like this video, please do not forget to subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates. So I hope you learn something new today. And you have a great day. Goodbye for now. Please do leave a comment if you have some questions. Okay. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.